Hey, 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 guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am back with another episode of Russian Fishing 4. And I know it's been a little while, but I've been messing around a lot on the Hunter. And there's been a Halloween event going on, but it looks like they had some updates here. I guess they did some, probably some bug fixes, some hot fixes, some optimization, you know, crossed their I's and dotted their T's. <laughs> I think that's the other way around, isn't it? Anyway, guys. I'm heading over here to do a little bit of cloudy fishing because that's what it is. It's nice and cloudy. And we're going to see if we can't get us decent sized carp. And I'm not sure. Did I get. Did I purchase some of that line that I wanted to purchase? No, I did not. I did not. Yeah, one of the things that I had noticed is that I didn't have decent sized line for my uh, cane rods. I still have like five pound test, which is why it broke last time. Yeah, the low capacity is 4.5 kilograms. So that is actually just around 10 pounds, maybe a little bit more. Now you don't want to get too close. About, I mean, you don't want to go over that. Probably about eight and a half would do it. And on this one, it is four kilograms so roughly about the same so they actually can hold quite a pretty heavy duty line to be honest all right guys i am back i went ahead and got some better line a little bit of heavier line and we're going to give it a try here now i'm going to go ahead and load this up because right now i've only got five pound test we're going to go ahead and put some of this 10 pound because I did check and actually the 8.5 or 4.5 kilograms is a little bit over 10 pounds so we should be all right now I will tell you guys I get questions all the time about how to set up the best balanced rod setup and guys you know that is really not my ex I mean yeah I, I I'm pretty good at doing it but I don't like to give that kind of advice because tutorials is not my thing um, I would rather leave that up to Kachi and Lady of Games and there's also plenty of questions that are answered within the forums so honestly I would probably refer you to that I mean I might give you some simple advice but I just don't really like to do the tutorials because I don't want to give you I tend to sometimes do things a little differently than people. I mean, I don't take chances, obviously, but I tend to overcompensate for it. I tend to be a little too cautious. So I don't know if my advice would be what you would want, but you know, to each his own. But anyway, I've got this set up a little bit heavier this time, and we're gonna go ahead. Let's see. I think I've got. Yeah, I've got that one on the first one. So I'm going to go ahead. I've got a maggot on it. We're going to see if we can get some chubs here. Because cloudy weather means chubs, and cloudy weather means carp too. They should be in here close. Go ahead and set that down. Get my other rod. I'm going to keep this one shallow. And I think I've got it baited with dough balls at the moment. But I'm going to go ahead and throw a, a worm on here. And we'll see if we can get us something else here. Now that we have it in the proper order, shouldn't get confused by which one's which. But guys, we're basically going to be fishing and gaining as we go. And there's some things I do want to talk to you about, guys. And that is, I've heard a lot of griping and complaining from various places about different aspects of this game. I've heard a lot of people say it's it's not realistic it's a cash grab it's stuff like that well guys 
This game is not a cash grab. Not in the least. In fact, this game you can play for quite a while without even spending so much as a, as a dime. In fact, you never have to spend a dime. And I think the problem is, is people kind of expect to be able to just throw money at it, buy the best gear, and be able to buy, you know, catch the great big old fish. But guys, in this game, when you start, it's as if you'd never fished before. And I think I've got a buy here. Well, they keep just messing with me here. Buying the really expensive... Buying the really expensive gear, guys, is kind of like... Handling, you know, teaching a toddler to shoot a gun and going ahead and handing them an automatic weapon. <laughs> okay, they're not going to know how to use it, and it's going to get real ugly quick. You just, I got a bite here, and he is a serious fish. He is seriously wanting it. There we go, nice cruising carp. I mean, I won't ma mention any names here. But apparently I've heard that there's been advice to using, like, mediocre reels with really heavy-duty rods. And apparently that can work sometimes, guys, but... The problem with that is you. Ooh, nice white bream. 87 points. I mean, you know, in this game, it can work. But you're really taking your chances with it, guys. Because this is. I think I got me a Chinese sleeper here. Because even though you're, I mean, basically, let's say, for instance, you've got a, a rod that can handle 20 pound worth of pressure. And you got line that can handle 20 pound test. And you put on there a, tw a 10 pound reel. But it can actually go up a little bit higher than that. What you don't understand is... When you're putting stress on that reel, you're putting wear and tear on it. When you're putting wear and tear on it, that means that you're going to wear that reel out a lot faster than you would if you don't used it like it should be used. I mean, to be perfectly honest, guys, me putting a heavier line on here, that's gust gutsy for me. I don't want to break my rods. It's common sense, guys. If you're going to put... 20 pound test on a rod that can only handle 10 pounds, what's going to happen? <laughs> I mean, come on. Big fish comes along, fish can pull with, you know, more 15 pounds of force, and you got a 10 pound test rod, but a 20 pound test line. What is going to happen? It's simple physics. Snapple. <laughs> That's what's going to happen. As I have said, well, as I have said and I keep trying to say, guys, this game is about fishing. This game is not about catching. This isn't an arcade type game where if you throw it in a certain place at a certain time on a certain, whether it's sunny or cloudy, you're going to catch a fish there every stinking time. And a certain species every time. It doesn't work that way. It doesn't work that way in real life. Now, you know, if it did, <laughs> every time I went fishing, I would have come back with a whole bunch of fish. 
every time. There been many times I've gone fishing, didn't catch a squat thing. I don't care how good I was at it. I didn't catch anything. But I had a hell of a good time. Hell of a good time. Oop, I got me a... Nice little, well, you little pain in the butt. I swear to God, they are really, really playing with me today. And maybe it's because I'm talking. But... I'm just trying to give you some of my opinions, guys. Balance your equipment. Balance your equipment and balance it right. Whoa, here we go. Use some... Nice! Level 4, guys. That was 92 XP on that Crucian Carp. Just use some common sense. I mean, think about it. I mean, put yourself... Basically, put yourself... In the real world, if I was doing this type of fishing in the world, real world, would this happen? If it isn't going to happen, then it shouldn't happen here because this is as close to real fishing as you can get. Seriously, I have not seen anything come closer. Now, I don't like to sit around and talk about or bash people or bash games even. Each thing has its place. But you shouldn't compare them by any means. I mean if you like catching, play a game where you catch. There's nothing stopping you. There's nothing really wrong with it. If you feel like you know, throwing some money at it so that you can catch fish easier and quicker is the way to go. Go play that game where you can do that. I'm not telling you it's wrong. I'm not telling you it's right. But don't expect every game that is a fishing game to have that same capability and then bash it as a result of it and I have a fish that is make it a run god bless it you guys are not Ugh. I mean can't you get a little more serious than that guys just a little bit. <laughs> if you're gonna run with it, you might as well take it. I mean, she's. Uh oh. Yeah, they're 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 jerking me around, guys. <laughs> you know, I actually have a lot of fun when the fish gets better of me. This is like a battle of wills, you know? The will of the fish and the will of... Will of me. I'm gonna move this over a little bit so I can see them both at the same time. I don't know, guys. All I'm trying to say is... Just... Play the game smart. You can have a lot of fun with this. This is like a role-playing game for fishing. It really is. I mean, every time you come out, every time you fish, you get and learn a little bit more, and you get a little bit better. And you're doing it as you should, slowly. Nobody learns how to do this kind of stuff overnight. It doesn't work that way. Not if it's being done right. And even... Someone who's fished as long as me, obviously, can make stupid mistakes when they're talking. <laughs> but, yeah, I need to let them take it a little bit better than that. I'm just, 
yakety yak in here. But I'm telling you guys, if you want to learn how to play this game, pay attention. I'm going to make sure he takes it this time. Pay attention to what's in the forums. Pay attention to what some of the the people that are really good with the tutorials say. Kachi and Lady of Games. They're like your your wildlife guides, okay? They're the experts and they know how to do it step by step and they teach it like a class. I am the guy that you fish with for fun and I can give you some tips and tricks to help it along, but I'm not the guy to sit there and say, okay, now do this, now do that, because... I'm just here to have fun. I don't care about making it more scientific. I don't know. He is... Does he have it? No, he does not have it. Okay. I am getting sick of you guys messing with me. I think it's about time that I start kicking your little finny butts anyway I've ranted it off enough guys as you can see I am a level 4 I have about probably 27 silver no more than that I have not bought any more haven't bought any gold if I do it's solely because I spent too much and then I don't have enough to buy stuff that I really have to have. <laughs> you know, I'm not going to buy seriously expensive rods. I'm not going to throw a butt ton of money at it. I'll throw some money at it, and only be, you know for the reason, like I said, for stuff I need, and you know, also to help support the people that go to all this trouble to make such an amazing game. Because you know they need it. That way they can keep making this game even more amazing. But I'm not going to throw it at it to go out and buy the most expensive rods. Rods that I'm not even at a level where I should be able to use them. It's just silly. It's silly. But we are now at level 4. Kind of hoping that I can... finally get me a really good sized carp with having these heavy lines heavy ur lines and the truth be known I could still end up getting myself losing my gear because there's some big carp in here whoa there we go All right, let's see what he does this time let's not jump the gun let's see if he's serious Okay, he's not that serious. He's still playing with it. Okay, now he's serious. Now he's serious. Nice. I got a lucky one. Bonus luck one. Got a lucky fish. Got a lucky fish. <laughs> Oops. There we go. Back up. Yeah, the wind's actually blowing at my back, so technically speaking, we would probably do better on the opposite bank, but I really just like this location yeah this thing has wind dynamics in it and the wind can blow all the foodstuffs 
towards the you know opposite direction where the wind's blowing, obviously. But I am doing so wonderfully here that I am just enjoying myself a little too much here. Okay, he took it under. The other one's playing with it, but I am not trusting that he has it. Yep, and I was right. I'm going to make damn sure he has it this time. Okay, he's still playing with it over on the left side. I might change my maggot, since the sun's coming out, over to a dough ball. See how long he keeps it under. No? I'm telling you guys, it just doesn't get any better than this. You know how much I was fishing with a cane pole as a kid? Okay, I got him this time. Come on, you little bugger. I think it's a bream, but I can't tell. No, it's a crucian card. It looked silver to me there for a minute. Must have been the light or something. Let's see here, guys. Okay, he is not messing with it anymore. I may go ahead and change the bait on this. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and change this over to dough balls. And we're going to... Well... I don't want to get it on the other side. It gets too confusing. I'm just going to toss it right out here. Got it back up. Yep. Okay, they're going for the dough balls now. I had a feeling. And he has it. 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 Come here, guy. Another Crucian Carp. We are getting Crucian Carp City here. And it is a sunny day now. Look at him. Look at him. Look what he's doing. You see him? He doesn't have it, though. But he sure thinks he's going to mess with me. Let's just make sure he really gets it. And he's playing with it over there, too. You just think you're all slick, don't you? You think, you're, you think your poop doesn't stink. Come on. Yeah, you see that little bit of red that I have in my luck now? That increases my chance of getting a trophy. God, I'd love to get a trophy, but I'm not so sure I can with... with the gear I have at this point, but... Well, I could, I guess. I mean, a sleeper. You could probably get a trophy sleeper. Okay, he is running with it. If he isn't on it, I'm going to be... You know, he's on it. He is on it, and he's running with it. Okay, I gotta toss this out real quick. Ah. Guess he changed his mind. He's still interested in that worm. He is just playing with it. Yeah, it's starting to get a little bit late. I don't want to keep these fish. Am I keeping it too long? 
don't want them to spoil and become nasty. There he goes again. <sighs> you little ooh, 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 ooh. Pain in my buttocks. Think you're so daggone slick, huh? Yeah, I think what I'm going to do here, guys, I need to eat, obviously. But I think I'm going to pick this up. And put it away. Pick this one up and put it away. I think I'm going to go to the opposite shore for a little bit. Because this is not the key spot to be fishing when it's sunny. <clears throat> Especially with the wind. Well, actually, the wind changed directions. The wind's now coming out of the north. Ah, eh, still on a move. But let me go ahead and sell these fish here real quick, guys. Let's see what we got here. We've got quite a few here. We got some that are. Got this one's worth a whole silver. This is 1.01. .01. It's not too bad, not a too bad of a haul. Not too bad of a haul. Yeah, I'm gonna come over here and the fire <laughs> I like lighting the fire it just kind of makes it nice and homey all right let's see here right, the wind is blowing that way well it looks like it's on the opposite side I'm on the north side so I want to kind of try my luck here for a little bit anyway I know this isn't the optimum time, but what the hey? That was a what's that called? The wild man cast? There we go. God, <laughs> it's like sling your line. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we're already getting a bite on this one, which I kind of expected. It's usually a lot of carp over here. And we've got one on this one too. But I'm going to let him take it before I just yank his little butt up. Okay, I think he has it. May well, you little. Maybe he doesn't. Well, the one on the cane rod wasn't exactly gung-ho, was he? Looks like he quit. You guys are going to quiet down now? Maybe. Yeah, let's keep an eye on that one. I'm going to grab this one. I'm going to bring it a little closer to shore here. See if there's anything real close.
Okay, he is... Let's see if he's serious first, guys. See how he let go of it? He's still trying it out. That's fine. Let him try it out. Right, I'm going to pick this up. And I got him, finally. Nice gibble carp. Oop, looks like we got something on our other one. Yeah, he didn't have it. That's all right, guys. I need to get back because my hunger is just in the red. Now, I could sit there and use some of the goodies I have, but I think I'm going to go over here and get the free chow. Gonna get the free chow. Gonna get the free chow. Yeah, yeah. Okay, where's the lunch wagon? Here it is. And we're full. But let's go ahead and sell what fish we do have. That was another silver. Well, guys, that was a lot of fun. I know I ranted a little bit, but I really, really want to kind of protect not only the people that watch my videos, but also just to kind of make some things clear if I can. Um, yeah, you just got to be patient. This is fishing, guys. This game is fishing. This game is not about catching fish. This is not an arcade game. This is as close to real fishing as you can get without actually going out and throwing out a line. So, just just use some common sense. That's all I'm saying. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed that episode. Please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe. And always remember, aim straight, cast far, and have fun. I'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye. Thank you.